everyone, I'm Tony Gale and today I have a word from the Lord and that word is, where is he? Before I get into the word, feel free to subscribe and join the Roots family because we are a family over here. And yeah, let's get into the word. Oh, Heavenly Father, King Jesus, my Lord, my Savior, my Provider, my Comforter, my Light in the Darkness, our Light in the Darkness, sweet Jesus, our Husband, our Bridegroom, our Messiah, our Savior, sweet Jesus, Lord Jesus, 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 you are three, three in one, Father, Spirit, and Son. Oh, Heavenly Father, we welcome your Holy Spirit. Wherever we are, you are welcome, sweet Jesus, you are the love of our life. Oh, Heavenly Father, we welcome you and we worship you and we extol you, Father, Lord God, for all that you are. Oh, sweet Jesus, speak to me so that your people can hear you clearly. It is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I will forever pray and not man. Amen. See you there. So, um, yes, let's go ahead into the word. So, you know, last night I had a vision of a woman and a man and a child they were like homeless and they were like under this you know shed place like they were trying to you know get covering from the rain because it was raining and like they were saying you know where is god where is god right because you know you can believe in god and that's great but it's like when obstacles you know when you're facing you know trials and tribulations when you're in trials and tribulations it's like you forget that you know god is lord it's like you give in to the obstacle instead of calling on the lord and that is where we go wrong you know that is when we need to turn to the lord as when we need to turn to him with all of our heart with all of our strength you know the bible says that we should love the lord with all of our hearts with all of our mind and with all of our strength so you know that is what we need to do when you it doesn't matter if you don't have a lot of strength love him turn to him with all of that strength that you have right now and that the, the thing is many of us we turn to the obstacle instead of the lord we say that we believe in the lord so much but when the obstacles come you know we give in to the obstacle and trust me i know that it's not easy because you know many times people look at me and they're just like Oh, she's speaking a prophetic word. That's great. That's awesome. But she doesn't understand what I'm going through because, you know, she has a great life. You know, many of us that you see here that are speaking, you know, prophetic messages, leaders, you know, people who are preaching the gospel. Many of them, they their testimony was because life was not easy and it's the lord who was it was only the lord that got them through that you know situation and that is why they they actually began speaking the gospel because they got their faith built during that time their faith was built during a time of their trials because they know that you know only the lord could have gotten them through that situation they know that only the lord you know got them through that situation so it's not like we're great but it's just that you know during those hard times the lord you know was there for us even when we thought you know we would never get through it we kept holding on to the words of the lord and that is what you need to do it's not easy it's not easy sometimes it's hard but you know during that hard time when you are sick when you are so sick and you're in that hospital and you're on that hospital bed you can't move you know you need to just turn to the lord and it says in the bible that we should seek him you know and we will find him and we shall search for him with all of our heart don't just you know worship the lord and try to find him when things are great you know loving him like you know not wholeheartedly like you you you're giving him a piece of your heart but like you're keeping the rest you know to yourself just in case things aren't great you go back into yourself and be like you know go back into the world and be like you know there is no god no that's not you know serving the lord that's not following the lord because the lord didn't say that we wouldn't face trials and tri the lord didn't say that we wouldn't have trouble he just said that he would be there for us when you know we are facing those troubles you know so it's really for us to turn to the lord when we're going through the situation you know it doesn't matter if you're homeless you know 
It doesn't matter if everything is taken away from you. You need to know who is your provider. You need to know that there are brighter days that are coming. You know, this is just a season, you know. You need to know that it is the Lord of hosts who is walking with you, who is with you during those hard times, you know. Man can't do anything for you. It's the Lord who gives, who provides for us, you know, who keeps us going even though we don't see how we're going. Sometimes we think that, oh, I'm just so great, I can do this, you know. But it's no, it's just the Lord who's just, you know, been providing the strength for us, who's been helping us, you know. It may not feel that way right now because it's hard, but, you know, the Lord is with you. Even on your hospital bed, he's with you, you know. Many times we think that, you know, Many times we're just like, I'm waiting on the Lord, but he's waiting on you to believe that he can do it. Do you believe that he can do it? Do you believe that he can do it? That is the question. Do you believe that he can turn around that um that sickness? Do you believe that he can turn around your living situation? Do you believe that he can turn around, you know, what you're going through? Do you believe that he can give you a miracle? Even no, even no, it doesn't matter how long you've been suffering. Do you believe that he can give you a miracle in one of what seems like one of your worst situations? You know, do you believe that he can do it? You know, in the Bible, it says that Anna was unable to bear children, right? And like she would just go about doing her own thing and she would not get pregnant but the moment she turned to the lord and said you know lord if you give me a child you know she prayed a silent prayer a silent prayer it says that in the bible you know so your prayer doesn't have to be loud he hears everything you say even in your heart he hears you he hears your thoughts he knows your deep thoughts so you don't need to be telling the word you know telling the world you know um I asked the Lord for this, or I'm asking the Lord for this, or, you know, no, you don't need to do that. You just need to say a silent prayer in your heart, and the Lord hears you. You know, sometimes we feel like we are waiting on the Lord, but he is waiting on us to believe, you know. And Anna, when he went to the, when she went to the Lord, sorry, and she made that prayer, the Lord blessed her. It says that, it said in the Bible that the Lord, when Anna, you know, met Elkanah, the Lord visited Anna. The Lord visited Anna. So, you know, the Lord wants to visit you. But do you believe? Do you believe? Do you have enough faith today to go to the Lord and say, Lord, I believe that you can turn around this situation. I believe, Jesus, that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever unchanging. I am standing on Hebrews 13 verse 8. I believe that you can do all things. I believe that you spoke this word into existence. I believe even when the world is saying that, you know, you can't do it. I believe that you can do it. It doesn't matter what my body is saying right now. I believe that you can do it it doesn't matter what people are saying right now i believe that you can do it he can do it if you believe that he can do it all it takes is your faith believe it doesn't matter even what your body is saying and perhaps you're feeling pain he can still do it but he wants to see if you have enough faith you know to wait on him to wait on him you know, and it won't be long. It won't be long. The harvest is here. It's time for us to go to the next level. That is what he has been saying to me. It's time for you to go to the next level. And this is what the next level will take. It will take faith. It will take you saying, you know, even though I failed that test again, I believe that I can do it this time. Even though, you know, I'm trying to get that degree, you know, and I failed so many times. I believe that I can get it this time. Do you believe that he can do it? Even when everyone is saying that, it's time for you to just forget about it. We need to know that as children of God, we are called to be different. We're called to believe in, you know, even in chaos. We're called to keep going even when things look, you know, a little hard. We are called to be different because we're called to walk by faith and not by sight. 
So not many people will be, you know, encouraging you and say, yes, you need to go on. Because not everyone knows God. But if you know God, if you believe in God, it's time for you to activate your faith. It's time for you to activate your faith. And I'm not just speaking to you as someone who's, you know, who has the blessings of God in their life. I'm speaking to you as someone who has gone through hardship. I'm speaking to you who's who's been through, you know, as someone who is, has felt pain at my very worst. I'm speaking to you as a child of God. It doesn't matter what you are faced. It's time for you to save when your body is saying that you can do it. It's time for you to declare out of your mouth and say that he can do it. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know, he is waiting on you. He is waiting on you to activate your faith. It's time for us to get to the next level. And this is what it takes. So, you know, you don't need to say like a huge prayer. You can say a prayer in your heart. There was one time when I was sick and, you know, I appreciated every single prayer that came out that people sent out to the Lord for me. It, is, it didn't matter if they were in church or not. It didn't matter if they were in church or not. I believed that the Lord heard your prayer, but I couldn't pray for myself. There were people who would pray for me and these people weren't saints, you know, and their prayer did, their prayer did help. So, you know, you don't need to be, you know, praying this you know, pretending, you know, just be honest. Be honest. Lord, I'm going to a hard, right, hard time right now. Lord, I feel like I'm about to die. Lord, I need you to, you know, be strong in my weakness. Lord, I invite you into my pain. Lord, I need you today. It doesn't feel like I can make it to another day, but I need you to take me there. You know, the devil's lie is that we need to focus on the past. You know, but we need to be grateful for today. We are breathing today. We still have a chance. We still have a chance, you know. We still have a purpose, you know. We are breathing today. There was one time, you know, last year, last year, my my worry was that am I going to live to see the next day? That was my worry. So why am I going to worry about these small things, money, people, etc. when my worry last, last year was if I was going to live to see the next day? You see, the devil's manipulation is always going to come, but it's really for you to remember what the Lord had done for you. It's really for you to remember that the Lord is still God and he's still good. It's really for you to remember that he did it already. And he can do it again because he's the same. He is unchanging. Even when people change, he's still the same. It's really for you to just cancel out the words of the enemy. Don't even take in those words. Don't even feed yourself with those words. It's time for you to say, no devil. Whether the devil is speaking to people, whether is the devil is speaking to you know, the television, it's time for you to say, no devil. I am well. Even when you're sick, I am well in the name of Jesus. Speak Jesus into your being. Speak Jesus into your, in your situation. You will receive a new home. I have a new home. Speak by faith. Speak by faith. It's time for us to activate our faith and not just praise Jesus when everything is okay, you know. When you are at your worst point in life, that is when you need to turn to Jesus with all of your heart with all of your heart and not to the obstacle that is not where what we're called to be you know that's not who we're called to be we are children of god so you know it's hard and the lord knows that but he's waiting on you to activate your faith and let me just read psalms one for you you know the lord gave me psalms one and it says blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the lord and in his law do he meditate day and night day and night does he meditate and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he do it shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. The ungodly are not so, but are like the shaft which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish in Jesus' mighty name. So yes. 
continue to stay blessed.